Thursday things we're making Thursday things we're making Thursday yeah Welcome to J-Hook Magic. I'm Jess. Thank you so much for coming and stumbling along my channel and wanting to hang out with me. I truly appreciate it. Uh, if you are new here, welcome, welcome. How are you? How are you? I hope all is well. Um, if you haven't already and you'd be ever so kind, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when new videos have been posted. If it's not your first time, here. Welcome back my yarny friends. So excited you are here. Do you know today is my favorite day? Things we're making Thursday. Things we're making Thursday. Things we're making Thursday. Yeah. Things we're making Thursday. Holy cow, we are coming up on the holiday seasons. Where has this year gone? This is crazy. But, um... Yes, yeah, so with Things We're Making Thursday, as you could tell from the jingle, it is a year-long collab with a bunch of, bunch of lovely, lovely people. Uh, we come on, we pick a free pattern, we come on every Thursday, show our progress at the end of the month, we show our final product. Um, then Heather from Strings and Threads puts our pictures of our final products into a video makes a compilation video, shows all our beautiful work. It's amazing. Uh, we also have a Facebook page that Jenna from Jenna Stitches has graciously made for us. I say go over there, join. It's amazing. Show pictures, comments, questions. It's amazing. It's a lovely group. Um, you know, so if you, you can crochet along with us, you could pick whatever pattern that we have done in the past, what we're doing now. If you don't have a channel, but you want to show off your beautiful work, which I think you should, put pictures in the Facebook group. Or you can email any one of us. Uh, well, I think, I believe all our emails are in the description box. And we could show it on our video or whatever you want to do. Um, yes. So this month of November, uh, we are doing the Amagurumi Turkey which is so freaking cute. Um, I am really loving this pattern. Uh, I would say if you've never done amigurumi before, this would be a perfect one to start with. Uh, it's amazing. <laughs> uh, the body is just worked in one piece. You're going to put the, um, facial, fa the pfft, facial features <laughs> on before you close up the head. So you, oh, it's just, I don't know. Every time I think I can't love this pattern more, the next step that I go on, I'm like, ah, I love this pattern. <laughs> so uh, let me show you what I have so far. So far I have the body done. Um, isn't she cute? So like I said, the body is done in one piece. Uh, you put the beak, uh, the little waddle, gobble, gobble, <laughs> uh, thing on. Uh, you could use whatever, um, eyes you want. Uh, I know a lot of people are using safety eyes. I was going to use safety eyes, but then I decided to just embroider. It's not really embroider, but make my own. Let me see if you could see. Do you like my own kind of eyes? And then I threw some lashes on because... Why not? <laughs> Get it, girl. So, um, when, like, my kids are playing with them or whatever, if my niece and nephew come over and they want to hug it or play, I don't want the, um, the hard eyes to hurt them. So I want it to be a nice, soft, uh, thing that they can cuddle and play with, you know, so no one gets hurt. Um, and then of course I had to get, oh yeah, I told you I put the lashes on, <laughs> but I love that you do the, the, um, facial features blah, 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 before you close up the head, because a lot of times that's where I struggle too. Not only do I get like, uh, the crooked neck when I got to sew the head on, but also my 
facial features don't always, oh my God, why do I keep saying that word? The, <laughs> the face does not always look right. So I really enjoyed that part too. I love this cute little do. Super cute, almost like mine. Hi. <laughs> uh, so I got the body and that done. Um, I have the little wings done, which are so cute. So I just have to sew these on. I'm hoping that this won't be too bad. Oh my God, look how cute. And then I have her little legs. So her little leggies will go on. I decided to go with yellow legs and an orange beak. I just think it's cute. Break up the color a little bit. Um, so I have that done, so I have to get those sewn on. But right now I am working on the feathers. I'm not sure what I want to do. I think I know what I want to do, but then I don't. Um, so that's why I'm kind of stalling on the feathers. But I will get them done today. <laughs> Uh, so I have um, this Mainstay Orange um, Super Saver Red. I think it's Cherry Red. I have this Mainstay um, Yellow. I told you they don't come up with anything. So I was thinking of doing, you know, the feathers to kind of keep it like, I don't want to say traditional, but like if you, you know, like if you're going to... Um, color one in or if you're going to draw one or decorate it's usually like with the fall colors you know to kind of go behind like because you know it's the four feathers that we have to do behind it so I don't know which way I want to do it or if I want to use these colors and then I so I'm like well what's my fourth color going to be because I don't know I was thinking maybe a darker brown um, and then I found this, um, the Super Saver Stripes in Favorite Stripes, and it has all these different colors in it. So, but the, um, it takes a really long time to transition to a different color, um, because it would have been cool if you could get all different colors in it. But then the first color that comes out is a green so I was thinking maybe fitting the green in here somewhere. Ah, that's kind of hard to... All right, you got to lay down there, sweetie. <laughs> uh, okay, so maybe like this, the green. Or do I do... No, I don't want... You know, I can't have the red and green together because that's going to be too Christmassy. So maybe if I do this, this, this. Oh, that might be cute. All right, so maybe I'll do that. I don't know. I think I'm just going to start making them and we'll see what happens. <laughs> so you'll see next Thursday what what I end up doing. Because I don't even know at this point. <laughs> but um, I highly recommend this. Oh, and I forgot to tell you. This is by uh, Grayson Yarn. Everything will be down in the description box. But this pattern is from Grayson Yarn. And it's amazing. So I'm definitely going to check out more of her patterns. But um, I know a lot of people see like Amagurumi and they get, you know, they're like, oh, no, I don't like it. Um, I don't mind doing Amagurumi, but I'm not like a huge fan because um, it does hurt my hands, like using the smaller hooks. And I hate all the sewing of the parts. But this one you really don't have that many parts to sew on. I mean, it's really just, <clears throat> excuse me, the beak and that, but it's super easy. Um, the feathers, which, I mean, not the feathers, the arm, uh, the wing, which seems like it shouldn't be too much trouble because they, uh, she has you close it up. Like, I don't know if you could see. She has you close it up at the top. So it's pretty flat, and I think that's going to help a lot with sewing this on. Oh, so cute. And the leggies. Um, should be okay. We'll see. But it's really not that bad. And also, I uh, she recommend... No. 
yeah, she recommends a 3.5 hook, and I am using do 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 a four. I'm using a four. I went up to a four. Um, I don't like going lower than a four, really. Um, this is really cute. And I think I have some, uh, what the heck is that called? The Burnett yarn, the, you know, the soft stuff. I think I have some of that. So I'm thinking I might make another one in that kind of yarn and make it like a little bit bigger, bigger, <laughs> bigger. <laughs> anyway, um, everything's down in the description box. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, when I talk and talk, I get dry. <laughs> Shut up, Jessica. Um, everything is down in my description box. Please go check it out. Please go check out all the other wonderful people that are participating and see uh, how they're how they're coming along on theirs and what colors that they are picking. Because it's amazing how we could all do the same project and we all and they all come out different. And that way, you get good ideas, you know, if you want to do it again. Um, yeah, so I think that is it. I hope everybody has a wonderful Thursday and, uh, I'll hook up with you later. Bye.